Good morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching. Thanks very much for clicking. Today is going to be a quick unboxing and first impression of, I, I should have remembered the name of this, Bentley for Men Intense 100ml Eau de Parfum. I've heard good things about this online and I was in, I was in, I was in TK Maxx in Cardiff a few days ago and I saw this for $19.99, which is very good. I know you can get it for similar sort of prices from discounters, but I thought it's the first time I've seen it properly, so I'll give it a go. So yeah, let's get straight into the unboxing on this one. Um, if there's one thing that stood out to me about this fragrance, I mean, personally, I'm probably a bigger fan of sort of winter fragrances anyway, like winter warmer sort of fragrances, cozy, warming, spicy, I'm a bigger fan. Um, but also listed in the notes of this one is rum. Whoosh! Love rum. I love it. I love it as a note. I like white rum in mojitos. Best drink in the world. Um, yeah, just, I just like it. It's got like a sweet, reminds me a bit of rum and raisin ice cream. Obviously, it can be done in different ways. It could be super boozy. It could be um, slightly gourmandish. I haven't read too many reviews. I've just heard of, that it's got a general positive vibe. You know, people speak highly of it. Let's try and unbox this bit of ASMR for you there. For people who are into that, couldn't even tell you what ASMR stands for. Auto stimulant muse. It's not music. I don't know. If you know, if you know, let me know in the comment below. I don't know what ASMR stands for. So there's the box. And there is the ball. Quite a weighty ball. It is plastic at the top, which is unfortunate, but then again, it's like a... I don't know if this is its own category of fragrance, because you've got a niche, you've got indie, then you've got designer, but then you've got this sort of other realm of fragrances like Adidas and Bentley and Ferrari and Ronaldo. You know what I mean? I, th I guess it's designer, but kind of fits in the same camp. Anyway, the ball from there down... I like, I like the colour of the juice. I'm not mad about this, but again, it's 20 quid. And then it says Bentley Fragrances, but there. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a first impression. See if I can pick up that rum. Hmm. <sighs> oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. This immediately is, I couldn't tell you what fragrance, but it's reminding me of a Javoy fragrance, Javoy Paris. I'm not too familiar with the, with the fragrance. I did, I had a sample set from Javoy and there's something in this. Do you know what I think it's reminding me of a touch and I could be totally off, but just in the first impression, it's reminding me a touch of something like Le du Desert Marocain. It's giving me like an amber vibe. And I know that there is an, um, a fragrance in Javoy Paris that maybe it's called like Amber Extreme or something like that, that also has that Le du Desert, Moroccan sort of vibe. Um, there's touches of leather I'm picking up in this. I, I didn't read the notes beforehand. Again, just a proper first impression. I didn't want a, it to be a proper review. Um, it's not that strong. But it is lovely. It is it's surprising for a designer fragrance. Um, it kind of falls in that Goldilocks kind of bracket, in my opinion, where I think niche people would love it or like it a lot. You know what I mean? It doesn't smell like a typical designer. But then it's not off the wall. You know what I mean? It's not like a, Ugh, only a few people are going to like this. I think a lot of people would like this. Um... As it's going on a little bit, I'm getting a slightly more, there's something in there that reminds me a little bit of like slightly pencil shavings, which isn't a bad thing. It just reminds me a bit of like Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors. Um, so maybe there's cedar. I'd be very surprised if there's not leather in this. It's not like, it's not bold, bold leather, more like a suede kind of leather, like a brown leather. Um, 
I did not find it super boozy. Perhaps I would have preferred it if the rum was a bit more present, but again, it's a designer fragrance, so maybe they didn't want to go super, super boozy. But I do like it on initial impressions. Um, I definitely really, I really like the opening because there was a lot of amber going on. As it's going on, I don't like it as, I still like it, I just don't like it as much because there's kind of that slight pencil shavings, but also maybe plasticky kind of vibe. Maybe there's some iris or oris going on in this because there's like a Play-Doh plasticky. In a way, as silly as this sounds, the fact it's Bentley and the fact it's a car company perfume kind of makes sense because there's an element of it that's making me think of being in a new car with leather seats. And I, I'm not somebody who's into cars, don't get me wrong, but there's something in the back of my mind that's telling me this is reminiscent of that. So that's interesting. Anyway, guys and gals, that's going to be my quick first impression for Bentley for Men Intense. Definitely worth the £20 from what I'm smelling so far. Not quite like anything I've smelled before, but it's reminded me a little bit of different things in the opening. Reminds me of Le de Desert Marocaine and that amber fragrance by Javoy that I can't think of, but I'll leave it in the video. Um, and then in the dry down a little bit, reminds me of something like Cape Heartache, but not as woody, more like leather going on. But yeah, curious to see where it goes and how the longevity, the longevity, it seems as though it's not going to be quite there. But again, 20 quid. It's not bad. Hopefully I'll have a review coming up soon. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you've tried this one, what you think of it. Speak to you soon. Peace.